right, hi everyone. My name is Bona Rivera Tran. Thank you so much for joining me here live with Prima. Um, we are going to be creating this really fun 12 Days of Christmas paper crate um, with um, Frank's a Victorian Christmas collection. It's a really gorgeous collection. Um, but first, let me give some announcements here. Um, next show is going to be on Thursday, November 12th at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Delaina is going to be creating a really gorgeous bicycle frame for the holidays. So you have to check that project out. It's really, really beautiful. And then also, um, don't forget Art Adventure Anaheim. Um, it's almost full. Um, don't wait to sign up. There's going to be six amazing instructors, goodie bags, and so much more. Be sure to go to primomarketinginc.com and click Art Venture tab. Or you can also email Danny Ruffner um, at Danny at primomarketinginc.com. And don't forget the warehouse sales bo sale box. Um, there's limited boxes left. Go to livewithprima.net. Um, it's only $100 and it's worth $500 worth of Prima goodness in there. So be sure to pick up your box. So, but first, we're supposed to feature a ornament this month and next month. And this is the ornament that I created. I'm using, again, Frank's collection. I bought this ornament at uh, Michael's. They have these really nice tin um, ornaments. They have a circle, I believe, a uh, heart. And there are other shapes. And I really like the Christmas tree. So this is what I did to mine. So this is my um, featured ornament. And I, and I love it. It's a really cool ornament, actually. And then I just, you can see I added the design paper. And then I layered some of Frank's gorgeous trims. And then the wooden embellishments and the gorgeous flowers. And it comes already with the jute um, rope here, which is really cool. And it's a really nice size. Um, I really had fun making this ornament. Okay, so let's get started. Um, again, this is going to be a 12 Days of Christmas paper crate. And you can see here I made a little crate. Let me just turn it all the way around so you can see. And then I embellished the front here. And then there's 12. I did a combination of tags and um, pillow box and also an envelope. So you can see this is the first day. So this is the first day tag. And then I just add some flowers, wooden embellishments. Um, I just add this as a little extra. Maybe I could put um, a little tiny photo or maybe put some, cut another one of this with some white cardstock and adhere it to the back. And maybe put some journaling. It's just a little extra to add to the crate. Um, here's day two. Again, used the pink paper and um, the nice, uh, what is this, the three by four note cards. And then I use a couple of dies, and I'll show you that as well. Here's day three. It's really simple. I just add a flower and cut out the number from the design paper. Day four, I made it into a pillow box. So I can add maybe some goodies in here or a small little gift would be fun. And then I add one of the Julie Netting little wooden dolls. Um, day five, again, is another tag here. I'm really fun. I love the images. It's really pretty. Here's day six, another tag. And add the gorgeous flower on top. Um, day seven, add in another wooden um, piece from Julian Edding's collection. And I just layered the number seven to some design paper. Um, here's number eight. I love the images, they're just really cute. Number nine, this is actually from one of the 12 by 12 papers that I just cut out. Um, here's number 10. Really fun. I layered again the 3x4 card. 
I'm gonna add a prima flower. So you can see, uh, you know, really simple, but it's just really beautiful collection. And you can make a ton of these as a Christmas gift. It's a really fun gift to give this year, or you make one for yourself. And number 12, I made it as an envelope to fit the three by four card. And then this was just a little extra to add to the cart or the crate, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's get started uh, making this and then we'll do one of each at a time here. And I'll show you how to put those together. Um, I'm gonna show you first how I created the paper crate. Um, you can create this with the design paper. I wanted it to look actually like a crate, so that's why I use the crap cardstock. Um, but again, you can use the design paper to make this. So I'm going to pull these out as I make them so I kind of can remember how I embellished it. So let's get started with making the crate first. Okay, so I use some crap cardstock and I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I really like it. It's by Paper Studio. It's a really nice thick cardstock. You can actually do this with a thin uh, chipboard um, if you want your crate to be a little bit more sturdy. So this piece right here is going to create the bottom piece of the crate and this measures five and a half. Okay, it's five and a half by seven. And what you're going to do is you're going to score one inch on all four sides. Okay, so just score it at one inch. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it back onto your scoreboard. And you're going to notice here I scored it at half an inch. So you're going to go back again and score it at a half an inch on all four sides. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I, well, I went ahead already and done that. So now I'm going to do is just fold all those and then we'll cut it and put it together. So I'm just going to take my bone folder here and just fold those score lines. Do you guys have any questions so far? Let's see, let me make sure I get to the chat here. Yeah, you score it one inch on all four sides and then half an inch. And I'll show you the reason why I did it at half an inch. Okay, so you're going to do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut the two bottom half pieces right here. So cut those out. So I'm going to cut these out right here. You're going to do that to both sides. And once you make one, you're going to find yourself making more. I didn't, um, well, I haven't seen any crate dies out there, and I really wanted one. So I just came up with this, just kind of made my own dimensions. Okay, so that's what you do there. Just cut this out a little more. Okay, then you're going to cut these little slits right here. I'm going to do that to all four sides. Okay, so it looks like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add adhesive to these tabs right here. So I'm going to use again the Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. Love this glue. I'm just going to glue the tabs like so.
Okay, let's, oops, let's do the other side. You can use um, double-sided tape if you like to as well. It adheres much faster. I mean, this does glue really nice. But as always, with wet glue, it does take a little longer to settle in. So again, this creates the bottom of the crate. Okay, so we made the bottom. Now we're going to make the other sides. And you, what you're going to need is, let's just make sure this is nice and straight. Okay, so you'll have something like this. Okay, now you're going to need four strips here. And I'll give you the measurements to these. You'll need four of these. And... This measures one by nine, okay? So again, this is one by nine, and you'll need four of those, and you're gonna score it at half an inch and four inches. Okay, again, this is one by nine. You're gonna score it half an inch and then four, and then you'll need four of those, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the half inch, and then you're going to take this end and just place it like so. Okay. Just going to connect them together. Let's do that. Make sure the tabs are in the inside, okay? not on the outside. Make sure it's in the inside. Okay, and then just add glue on this tab. How's everyone doing? Okay, so that looks like that. So you should get something like this. Just make sure these folds are nice and crisp so you get something like that okay and then you're going to do that with the other two so again you're just going to get your tabs and add an adhesive it's a really um, quick project and I love it Okay, and then add glue to this tab. Okay, so you should have two of these. Like so you can make sure all your folds. Okay, so you should have two of those, okay. Now you're gonna need um, four of these, and these measure one by three and a half, okay. On the one inch side, you're gonna score it at half an inch, and then on the three and a half inch side, you're gonna score it at one, one and a quarter, two and a quarter, and two and a half. So again, this is one by three and a half. On the one inch, it's gonna score at one and a half. And then the three and a half, you're gonna score at one, one and a quarter, two and a quarter, and two and a half. Okay, and the reason why I put the score lines right here, so when I'm placing these, it guides me where to glue it. This way, the crate is even. Um, if that makes sense. Right here, you can see on the crate, I wanted to make sure the space in between were even. And so making these score lines is what guide me to where to put these, to line these up. Okay, so just go ahead and fold those score lines to all four, four of them here. Just 
fold those. You don't actually have to fold these right here. You can just fold this. This is more so just to guide you where to glue. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue to this part right here. I'll just add some adhesive. Actually, let me do the bottom one first. So you're going to add adhesive to the back of the strip right here to the bottom. So just add your adhesive right there. And then you're going to glue that like so. So glue it to the inside of the box. Okay, I'm going to do that to all four of them. So just add your glue. Do you guys have any questions so far? You can see it's um, really quick to put together here. Just do that to all four sides. You want to make sure that all the folds are nice and um, straight. This makes it even. Okay. All right. So there you go. So it looks like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add glue to the second, so you can see that here. You're going to add it to this part right here, okay, to all four of them. So add your glue. And this glue doesn't dry quickly when you're applying it like this, so it gives me enough time to Add it to all four sides. Okay, and then I'm just going to place this over. And I'm just going to follow the score lines, that way I know it's even. And then I'm just going to press this. I'm just going to push that piece of strip against it. Again, use those. This is um, what I meant by creating these score lines. I use it as a guide where to place the strips here. So that way I know it's um, even all the way around. Hi, Nindy. Thank you for joining me. Okay. Okay, so you see it so far, how it's being built. And you can kind of just squeeze it, make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm just going to add the last one. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I was really excited to share this one. I love Christmas. I love any project to do with Christmas. And this is um, Frank's collection is very beautiful. Okay, so we're going to add the last one. So place that on top. Just kind of squeeze that in there. Just line it up with those score lines. And then just kind of squeeze it. And the reason why on the bottom of the box, the reason why I added that half inch, because I want it, you can see here, I want it to be flush with this, because this is a half inch right here. And I didn't want nothing sticking out. That's the reason why I cut it at a half an inch. Okay, so there's your crate. That's how easy it is to make this little crate.
And then all we have to do now is just decorate it. Okay, and that's the fun part. So let's start decorating. Okay, so what I did here was I added this gorgeous Dresden trims. It's a 21 inch. And this item number is 942465. And this is gorgeous. I love how pretty this is. So let's just take a piece out here. So it comes in this really long inch strip right here, you can see. And I just needed just a little piece of it. So I'm just going to cut this like so. Okay. And what I did was I just lined it up like this on the top. I just add some adhesive up here. I normally would use my, um, what is that, that glue, what's that thing called, that fine line glue, but my the needle broke, I pushed it too hard and I broke the needle, so I have to get a new one, so I just want to use some glue here, so I'm just going to add some to the top of the crate. So, and then I'm just going to cut, so just do this, so just cut it, I'm sticking to my scissors here, oops, I get too close, okay, isn't that beautiful, I love this stuff, okay, and now I'm going to add some to the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do it like this. So let me just add some glue. Just need just a little bit on the top here. And then I'll just put that there. Really pretty. All right, now we're just going to cut, just trim the ends. It looks so, um, so fancy. I like this stuff. Really beautiful. Okay, so that's how I put that on there. Okay, and then I added um, this leaf right here. I use the die um, by Diamond Dies. It's called um, Pine Branch. It's this die right here. And I just cut two of those with the design paper. And I'm just gonna, what I did actually was cut it in half. So I'm gonna cut it like right in the middle. And I'll cut this one in the middle too. And then I'm just going to kind of just layer it like this. Just going to layer it like that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I don't glue the whole entire leaf. I just, as you can see, I only put a little bit on the bottom because I'm going to have a flower go over it so it will hold it down really nicely. Just kind of do something like that and then I'm going to do that also with the last two and then you just um, layer the leaves like so oops and I should put a little bit more Yeah, that fine tip glue thing, that helps a lot, especially with intricate dies like this, when you're 
just adding glue to such a small area. Good stuff. Oh, that glue thing comes in handy. Okay, so I, I'm, you can see I'm just layering the leaves. Okay, and then um, what I did here was I took one of the number. I didn't usually, actually, I actually didn't use the number. I used this little house right here, and that's from this paper right here. And this is the paper that um, inspired me to make an advent calendar. This is, this is the 12 by 12. Um, this is number 990510. Um, this is the paper that uh, inspired me to make the crate. I love this. So I just, you can see I just cut out the number 10 because I just wanted, um, I just wanted the house. Okay. So I'm going to fussy cut out that little house. So I'm just going to cut it really quickly here. Uh oh. My dog's is about to bark. Okay. So you can see I just cut it out. And then I just tuck it right here on the top. So I'm just going to add a little glue. So I just put it to the bottom. I don't glue the whole thing. Just a little accent. Just put that there. Okay. And now I'm going to take this gorgeous flower here. Let's flower it out. Um, how beautiful these are. I love this flower. This is item number 583453. And it's so pretty. And I'm going to use this far right here. I love the what's it, like little crystals on the edges of this flower. So beautiful. I'm just going to take one of these out and I'm going to place it right here in the middle and just add some adhesive. You guys doing okay over there? You guys aren't chatting as much as you guys usually do. Okay, so just put that right there. Isn't that flower super pretty? Just love this flower. Okay, so that's there. And then I add two more flowers. So let me get those flowers. And I used um, two different packs. This one is item number 583. Four three nine. It's called Christmas Eve, and so I used a gold one here, a little gold trimming. I'm just take one of these out. I love. You can see here the gold glitter trimming on the edges. It's so pretty. So I just add some adhesive to the back of that. And then I'm just going to tuck that in here. Just have it peeping in the corner here. And then I'm going to take a flower from this pack. And this is um, item number 583446, uh, Rudolph's Nose. It's called. And I'm going to take this pretty blue one here. Like a bluish green, I think. It's right here. And I'll tuck that in the bottom as well. So I'm just going to add that down here. Okay, looks like that. And then I used one of the wood icons. Um, this is the wood icons here. And this item number is see 582517 I use the Merry Christmas and I just place that right here so let me just add some adhesive I 
Oh, hi, Chocolate Labs. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Anna. Thank you so much. So I'm just adding this wood embellishment. Merry Christmas. Just got to push this down here. Okay, so that's how I decorated the front of my crate. Really fun. You could do so much um, with these gorgeous flowers. Okay, so now we're going to do the um, advent calendar. I'm excited to show you that. So we're going to do day one. And I went ahead and pre-cut um, the pieces. Kind of save time. So I know it's going to take a, a little while to put these pieces. So um, I'm going to show you what I used here. So here's I made a tag and the tag is three by five and then I cut that from this paper here um, no, it's not this paper it's this paper right here I used to cut it from the 12 by 12 paper um, this is item number 990480 really gorgeous I cut this part right here where it says calendar I just cut a three by five piece from there okay so I use that paper and then um, I just cut the sides right here to make it look more like a tag and then I'm just going to use um, just my circle punch to punch a hole in the middle here so just place a hole right there and then I cut out the number one from the 12 by 12 paper. So I use both the 12 by 12 and then I also use the smaller one from the 6 by 6 pad. So I mixed it up a little bit. Um, this 6 by 6 paper pad right here, this item number is 990541. So I took the numbers from both that 6 by 6 and then also the 12 by 12. So this number one is from the 12 by 12. Okay, and then I'm just going to punch a hole to that. So let me just make sure it's in the center here. And then I will just punch from the back. So it's even. Okay, let me get my tag here so I can use it as a reference. And then I used some of, you guys have seen this many times, the Wheat Jute Trim. This is item number 576875. And again, you get 200 yards. So you can see that's why I use it so much because there's so much, you know, that you get. And you could just put this on every project. And I just love the color because it matches with everything. So I just, I doubled it up like this. And I didn't measure it, so I just did that. And then I just cut it. And then I just tied a knot. Or created a bow. Let me cut the other end actually. So you just create an, a bow. So just kind of tie it like so. And then make your bow. Like that. And I just pull it depending how big I want my bow to be. Like this. And then I just trimmed it a little bit. So just trim that out. Okay. So I did that. And then I added a flower again from this same pack right here. And that pack again was number 583446. So let me just take the same one that I put in the front, which is the blue one here. And I'm just going to glue it onto this bow right here. You can use glue dots. Um, I'm just going to use the fabric tack. Yeah, this would this would make a really great Thanksgiving gift. You know, you could use this, do this for Thanksgiving, Christmas. 
and it's, it creates very versatile for any um, theme. But I just, you know, I thought it'd be perfect for 12 days of Christmas. So that's what I did there. Okay, and then I use this gorgeous trim right here. And it's a really pretty floral lace. And this is item number 991050. And I'm just going to cut a little piece here. So I just need a little piece. I'm going to put it like so. I'm just going to add it like this. I want these two flowers to be even here. So I'm going to do that. So all I did was I just add glue to the back of the three flowers. I didn't actually glue the whole lace. So I just did that. And then just place it onto the tag like so. And then I'm just going to cut from the sides here. Just cut it really carefully. And then I just go back and glue it again to make sure it stays down. And save these because you could add these to, I'll show you what I did to the piece, extra piece that I cut. Okay, so I'm just going to add just a little bit of glue here so it stays completely down. Okay, so that's what I did to that. And then I add a flower at the bottom. Let me get one of those flowers here. Um, it's from this pack right here. And this is item number 583415, Holiday Lights. And then, let's see here. Let's one of those out. You guys all doing okay? So I'm going to take this one. And I'm just going to glue it to the corner here. So just add some of this glue. I'm just going to place it right here. And then I also added another wood icon, which is these cute little kids here. And then I just put it on just the edge of the tag. So I only glued half of it. So I just glued one side because the other half is going to be hanging off the tag. So I don't need glue on that. I just put it like this. Cute. So that is day one. Okay. Um, I also edged, you know, I love to edge my stuff. So I did use the vintage photo. And I just go back at it. You could do this, of course, before. Um, just in case, like me, I forgot to do it before. So I just go back. Okay, to go back. Okay, so that is day one of our advent calendar. And I'll put this in our crate. And then again, I just cut, you know, one of these trees. This is using an older um, Sizzix die. It's called um, Christmas tree number two. It's this die right here. I just use it as a little extra. To put so I just kind of just stick that into the crate so now let's do day two um, this is day two right here and again I pre-cut the pieces so let's put that to the side let me just clean up a little bit here so I had to separate them all with my envelopes so it doesn't get mixed up. Okay, so this is day two. 
So I cut um, this paper again from the six by six paper pad. And this is three by five. I made all my measurements on the tags three by five. So they're all, you know, within the same size. This is day two. I cut this out from, again, the 12 by 12 um, design paper, with the advent calendar right here. Again, 990510 is the number. And all I did to this one was I just glued it in the middle. So I'm just going to glue it to the middle. Let's just add my adhesive here. Just kind of place it, you know, I didn't put it too much in the middle, maybe a little bit higher. Let's just do that. And then I punched out this tab. This is from a Jenny Bolin punch that I've had. Um, I punched it out of, again, the 6x6 six six paper. And I'm just going to add a little adhesive here. Oh, I added a little too much there. Oops, my dog is kind of making noise over there. Sorry. So I put that up here like that. Okay. And then I add a reindeer. This reindeer is from a Tim Holtz die. Um, it's called um, Reindeer Flight. You get two reindeers off this die. This is one of his older dies. And then I embossed the reindeer um, using um, this embossing folder right here. It's the textured poinsettia pattern set. I use this one right here. So my reindeer has a little texture to it. And again, uh, from this extra little trim right here, I just cut out the little flower and I used it as a little embellishment for the reindeer. So you just cut that little piece and place it on the reindeer's neck. So don't toss your little pieces away. You just, my glue is like, squirting everywhere. Let me just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to add a teeny bit of glue. And I'm going to put it on my reindeer. See, it makes a cute little accent to the reindeer. And then I'm just going to place him right here. So I'm only going to glue half of him. Because only because some of them his body sticking out. So I just need to glue a little bit. Um, it's a um, really neat die, I mean, an embossing folder. Let me see it. It's this one right here. I can get the number for you. What number is this? I got it actually at um, Beverly's. My local Beverly store, they're clearing some of them all out. Um, 658270. It's a bossing set. Okay, so that's what I did to the reindeer. You can see him there. And then I'm going to add a flower. I had to use all the flowers because they're so pretty. Here's another one. This is called Twelfth Night, and it's item number 583392. I'm going to take this beautiful blue one here. Oops. I'm going to place that one. But before I do that, I'm going to get some leaves. And I got these gold leaves from this pack. And this is item number 583477. And it's called Red Stocking. So I'm going to take the gold leaves. In here. So I'll take two of those. You can see there's different shades. They're really pretty. So this one's a little bit darker than this one. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to just glue two of those. Let's see, how am I doing? Okay. And then let's just glue this. Does anybody have any questions? No questions? Um, 
Oh, you got all, yeah, 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 you have to get all the flowers. I mean, they're all, they're all pretty. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful collection. Okay, and then I just put it like that. Just kind of push that there. Like so. All right, so that is day two of our advent calendar. Let me just have that dry just a little bit. So I'll set that to the side. Okay, um, day three. This one's just a little bit more simple. Because I wanted to leave some space where I could do journaling or possibly add a photo. So I didn't embellish it too, too much. Um, so this one, actually, I'm going to keep really simple because I want to put a photo on that one. And this was from, let's see, which design paper was that? Um, this one, 990480, same one I used earlier. I just cut a piece, a three by five piece from that paper. So you can get a lot of tags just from one 12 by 12, which is really nice. And then this number three, I cut from the smaller um, 12 by 12, I mean, six by six. So you can see I use the number three off of this for this one. And I'm just going to glue it because I'm going to have some of it sticking out. So just put it on the top left here. And then I'm just going to edge with my distressing tool, the vintage photo. Like so. Okay. And then I just add another flower on the top. And this is my, they're all my favorites, but I love this one. This was just so beautiful. This is called Peace and Holly. And this is, I didn't remember, 583408. I used the smaller one. Oh, hi, Tamika. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to pick that. Oops, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use the smaller one. And then I just place it like there, right on the top. So let me just add some glue here. And I'm just going to kind of tuck it right there. So you can see this one is really simple, but the flower just makes it so, so pretty. And then I can place my picture of my girls here. What's going to do with that one? Okay, so that is day three. So we'll put that one aside. So now day four, I made a pillow box. And the pillow box, I actually um, used my We Are Memory Keepers uh, pillow punch board. And I used, I cut a six by six paper because the width always has to be six inches, but the height can be from four to 12. So I made it six. So it's a six by six size. And that's what I did to that one here. Let me, I pre-punched one already. So again, this is a six by six size. And then I used this tag right here. And that is from the Tags and Tickets pack, which is this pack right here. And this is item number 582456. And you get all these fun tags from this pack and you also get a little uh, matchbook too so I use that and then I used one of the Julie Nutting wood dolls which is this right here and these are the mini dolls and this is item number nine one one zero four one is what I used and then the number four um, this is from, let's see, is this from the six by, yeah, it's from the six by six paper. Okay. So again, I mixed it up between the six by six and the 12 by 12 to get my numbers. So I'm just going to put this pillow box together. I'm just going to pull these. So you, you can mix it up with tags, um, little favor boxes, envelopes to make it more fun, the crate. And this way, with this one, you can add some little gifts in here. I was thinking maybe of putting um, 
a gift card or maybe some jewelry for my girls because they love jewelry. So we'll just build that together. Okay. That's a quick pillow box. I'm not going to glue the bottom. I'm just going to leave them both open because you can actually glue one bottom because you just need just the top to open. But I'm going to leave them both open. Yeah, you, you could create this with a paper towel roll. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, and then I just um, took some jute twine that I have already. I'm going to cut a piece. I just cut a piece right here real quick. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just cutting a long piece here. And then I'm just going to tie my box. So I just cut a piece here and I'm just going to wrap it around. I like to wrap it around twice. I don't know if it's going to this longer here. So I'm going to wrap it around twice. This way my girls will find it easy to open. I'm not going to make a knot. I'm just going to tie a bow. But before I tie the bow, I have to place my tag inside first and my doll. So I'm putting in the tag and then the doll before I create my bow. And then I just fussy cut out the number four. That's what I did with that one. So let's see here. Oops, what did I do here? This is really thick. Hold on. Let me fix this. I think I made a knot. I need to cut that out. Just be careful when you put it through this. So it's actually too thick. Uh, oh gosh, I have four girls. So my oldest one is 20. She just turned 20. And then I have a 17-year-old, and then a 12-year-old, and a 10-year-old. So 10, 12, 17, and 20. And they keep me very busy. <laughs> so crafting is my, um, how do you say, my relaxing medicine. <laughs> but, but they're very good girls. Okay, so I just created a bow here. I'm just adjusting my bow here. Okay, so that's what I did with that one. And then I'm just going to cut this out because I cut too much. And then the number four, what I did with the number four, I fussy cut out the number. Uh, yes, definitely a house full of women. But my husband has no complaints. He gets lots of love <laughs> from all of us. So I'm just cutting this out. I think I'll just leave that middle piece in. So you can cut the numbers out. This one I did because I wanted to put it on the little tag and that's the reason why I cut it out. Okay and then I just, just move these out of the way here. I just distress the edge with the vintage photo. Okay, and then I'm going to glue it onto the tag here. Okay, so I just put it like in the middle here of this ticket. Let's see where did I put it? Right here. Just like that. You guys can see that. You guys see that? 
Okay, so that is number four, just a pillow box. So I'll put that in the crate. Let's see, number three is, I think, pretty much dried. Or number two. Okay, so let's go to day three. Let's see, where's number three? Oh, let's see, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, not three. I meant five. I'm losing my numbers here. Okay, so here's number five. And let me just get the pieces here. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to move faster because I'm ready at an hour here. Okay, so here's five. And again, I cut another piece from the 12 by 12. And I believe this is number, where did I cut this one from? I cut it from this paper right here, and this is 990497 is the number. You can see here I cut it, um, the tag from the top right here. So I just cut it again a three by five piece, and I'm just going to distress the edges. And Prima has some doilies. I'm so excited about that. You get a hundred in a pack. So these are paper doilies and this is item number 584696 and again you get a hundred of them so I'm really excited. So I just place that like so. I actually used a different paper on this one so I'm just going to fold it in half. So you just place it on one side of the tag. So I'm going to glue it. I'll just add some glue here. So and then glue the back. And these are really nice um, thick doilies. Really pretty. Because the other ones, I have these other doilies and they're really thin. This one is a, has a really nice thickness to it. Okay, so I add the doily, and then I just kind of tuck the number five, and this is from the six by six paper. So I'm just gonna just tuck that in. I put it underneath the flower. So I'm gonna place this first, so it kind of sticks out the number five. And then I'm gonna take a flower here from this pack. Another beautiful pack, and this is item number 583422. And I think you pronounce it Pere Noel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, I'm going to take this flower right here, and I'm going to place that right there. So just add some adhesive. that there and then I'm going to take another flower. Let's see what's that other pack I have. It's this pack right here. And I'm going to get the one that has a print on it. So I'm going to use this beautiful one right here. I'm going to add that. I'm just going to kind of tuck it in there. Add a little glue and put it in the bottom here. And then I'll take another one of these flowers. You can see there's so much flowers that you can. Again, this is 583446. You can embellish this with. And you can see in this pack you get 60 of them. So I'll just add. Tuck that in. Okay, so that is day five. So now let's go to six. And this is number six right here. So let me get that. 
and I used um, this paper and let's see what paper number is this one? This is oh no, I don't have it. Um, sorry, Carrie. I thought I had it up here. I don't have this paper up here. I use this from, um, actually I use this from the 6x6 six six pad, sorry. Yeah, this is from the 6x6 six six paper pad. I thought I used the 12x12. 12 12. And then I used um, a, let's see here. This is just a Stampin' Up! punch that I have. It makes a ticket punch. So I'm just going to punch the corners up here. Okay, so that's what I do with that one. And I will distress these real quick. This vintage um, photo is perfect for this collection. And then I took one of these tags. This is from the journal cards. This is the three by four uh, note cards. And this is item number 582, 586. And you get all these pretty note cards. Look at all these. These are so beautiful. I love these. So I used this one right here. This is Christmas Wishes. So my girls could add what their wishes are for this year. And then I just. Um, cut the paper because it's actually like this. So I just cut the corners right here. So it looks more like a ticket. And then I just dress the edge. Just dress it a little bit more. And then I just glued it on to the paper. And again my tickets, my tags are three by five. So just add a little glue there. Everybody doing okay? I'm just going to glue that. So, okay. And then I cut the number six right here. And this is from the 12 by 12. Let me just distress that. And I put a pop dot underneath it to give it some dimension. So I'm just going to add a dimensional sticker on the back. Actually, you know, yeah. I guess my girls will have to put their list in the back because I covered it. I forgot to put it here. So there you go. And then I'm going to add a flower from this pack again. This one right here. And that was 5834 so is that one five is the number? Let me just take this pretty old one right here. So I'm just going to put that up here on the top so it covers this little hole right here. Okay. So there you go. That is day six. So let's do number seven. So that's day seven. And I cut the number from the 12 by 12. And I got another one of the dolls. And then I cut another tag with a six by six paper. And um, I'm going to punch a hole in the middle here. Just kind of eyeball it. I'm going to do the same with this. Actually, I'm going to put this in the middle and then I'll punch it from the back. That way it's even. Okay. And then I'm just going to add some twine. So what am I going to do with my twine? Let's add some of this jute rope. This one's really quick. And then I'm going to add one of the dolls. So I used this one right here. She's so cute. And you can paint these dolls too. I just left them simple. And I'm just tying a bow.
Um, I probably should, yeah, I'll probably make one for each of my girls. Then they can decorate it however they want. So I just have to make two more. I'll probably do the other two a little bit different so they don't look all exactly the same. So that is number seven. Okay. So let's go to number eight. This is number eight. And I used for number eight uh, Julie Netting's craft paper tag pad. I used this one. This is the two and a half by four and a quarter size. And these are really nice um, thick tags. See, I'm just going to take one of them. You can see here it's very um, nice and thick. And this item number is, let's see, 911065. Okay, so let me get that. And then the number eight is from the 12 by 12. So all I did was put some pop dots on the back of this. I'm just putting some pop dots back here. So it has more dimension to it. Hi, Teresa. Thank you for joining me. So we'll just put that there. And then I'm just going to add a flower. Again, from this pack right here. Uh, let's see here, 583439. And what color did I use? This one. And I put one on the front and the back. So I'll need two of those. Okay. So I just glued them back to back, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the flower. Okay. I'm going to place it in front of the tag. Line it up with that circle. That way they get glued together. So I have a flower on both sides. Okay, so that's how I did that. Make sure they're lined up. Okay, so that is number eight. And then number nine. Number nine is really simple. I used the 12 by 12, this paper right here. Um, this is 990527. You can see I cut out this um, die cut, I mean this piece right here, and then I cut it out again. So I just cut this part right here. And then you can see this is what I did here, really simple. And then I just added the number nine in the corner. So let me get that. So here's the thing. And then I already fussy cut out um, number nine. So let me just add some adhesive to the number nine. Okay, so that is number nine. And this way my girls can put something on there. So we'll add that to the crate. Um, number 10, this is number 10 right here. And let's see here, I use an, again one of the journal cards, three by four note cards. And this is from the six by six paper, again three by five. I cut one of the tabs using again this Jenny Bowen punch here. So I'm just going to glue that to the top left side. Glue that to the top. And then I cut out the number 10 right here. This is from the six by six. I just cut a little square just to get the number 10. And then I'm gonna place that onto the tab. Like so. So you get this right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna place this on some pop dots as well. There's a little dimension to it. Okay. 
You guys are so quiet. You guys are usually chatting so much. Okay. Let's just move the back here. And then I'm just going to place this here. Just place it on the tag. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a flower. So let me get one of the flowers. I believe it's from this pack right here. It's another beautiful pack. And this is, um, oh, this is the same pack, the 583422. I think I pretty much used up all the flowers. So I'm going to get this one. And it's really pretty. And it comes with um, these leaves. So I'm going to take two of these leaves. And I'm just going to layer them together. Oh, thank you. I was wondering, I was like, how come everyone's so quiet? They're usually chatting. Okay, so I'm just layering those two leaves together. And then I'm going to glue the back. And just place it onto the tag. And then add some glue to the back of this flower. Super pretty flower. I love the centers of pretty much flowers. They always put the prettiest centers to their flowers. You guys can see the center of that one. So it's so pretty. So that is number 10. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Two more. Let me have this one sit down so I can let dry a little bit. Okay, and this is number 11. So let me get 11. And this is from the 12 by 12. And then this is one of the three by four journal cards. Okay, so I just punched a hole. Let me just put this in the center so it's even. And now I'm gonna punch a hole. Try not to get on her face here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add some of this twine here. Cut a piece here. Okay, this one I did different. So I folded it in half, I placed it through like the hole, like that. I took this through the hole, lift it up, and then I tied a bow. Oh, I made a knot first, and then I tied a bow. Secures it tie a knot. And then I just adjust the bow to see how big I want my bow. Okay. And then I want my strings to be a little long, so I'll have it as long as the tag. Let me just cut the bottom. Okay. And then I add another wood embellishment. This cute little Christmas tree. And I'm just going to glue half of the tree because half of it's going to be sticking out of the tag. And then I place it right above the number 11, like so. Okay, so that is number 11 tag. So I'll put that in the crate. So we got our last one to do here. This one is actually an envelope and I use the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and I used here so it fits a three the three by four card. Um, I use the six by six and you can see you could fit the card size of a three by four. Okay so that's what I did there. So let me take that all my stuff out here. Okay, so this is my envelope. Let's see here. 
And then this paper was from the 12 by 12, which is this one. This is item number 990503. Okay, so you can see where I used the 25. So we're just going to fold the envelope here. It's really pretty, the other side of this paper. And I'm just going to glue. Let me just add some adhesive here. Hi, Linda. So let's just do this. Okay. And then I took one of the three by four journal cards to put inside and uh, my girls can write a little note or put a photo. That was totally up to them. Let's put that in there. And then I took another one of the journal cards, which is this gorgeous one here with the bird. And then I just place that right on top. You can see it fits really nicely on the front of the envelope. So I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back of that. Just layer it right on top. And then the number 12 I took from the 12 by 12 sheet and I just cut right underneath the stocking just to get the number 12. So I'm just going to hand cut it. You could use your trimmer if you want it perfectly straight. And I'm just going to use my distressing tool here. You see, let me get a little bit more straight. There we go. It's a little better. And I'm just going to add some glue to the back of that. And then just place it right here. So it covers those lines. There's like three lines there. And then the little Santa, I just put him on the back of the envelope. So this is again another wood embellishment. And I will put him right here on the flap. Fits nicely on there. Yes, it's um, the Beacon of Fabri-Tac glue. I got this at Michael's. It's really um, awesome glue. Okay, so that is number 12. So those are the 12 days. And then I just, um, you can see here, I add a little extra. I, I have this um, embossing folder. It's of a bingo card. It's a Christmas, the Santa. Let's see if I have the original packaging. I think I do. Yeah, it's this one right here. It's called Christmas Set Number Eight. I use this one, and I put it. I cut a piece to put on um, the 12 by 12 paper. Let's see which one was that. It's the one that had the tree. So let's see. Let me get the right number for you guys. I believe it was. Yeah, it was this paper. The 990503. The other side of this paper was this tree right here. And then I just embossed it. So I have one right here. Okay. And then I just took my sanding tool. So it's the words stand out a little bit. And I just sand it a little bit here. So you could see it a little bit more pops out more. So I'm just sanding it really quickly here. I don't sand it too, too much, just enough to where some of the numbers really stand out. Okay. And then I just distress the edges with a vintage photo. And then I took a wood embellishment. Um, let's see. I used a little Santa here. Let me get one of them here. It's a cute little ornament with Santa's face on it. And I just placed him in the center. So let me just put him in the middle, like so. Just give it a little extra to the crate. So that is our treat, everyone. I hope you enjoyed.
watching me create this. So here's the one that we made. These are all the days, the 12 days. Just adjust it and make it look a little prettier. And there we go. That is it. That's how you create the paper crate advent calendar here, the 12 days of Christmas. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, the fabric tack, it doesn't give any wrinkles in the paper. That's why I really like this glue. It's uh, I don't like the bubbling in the paper. And it's it dries really nicely, and it's just a really nice glue. Thank you so much. Yes, definitely. It does need chocolate, Carrie. <laughs> I could probably add a chocolate bar. I'm sure my girls will not complain about that. There's a, you can see there's a lot of room to add some chocolate in here. That's a great idea. Thank you, Miss Linda. Thank you so much. I hope you guys um, create one of these. And if you do, please share it. Uh, Prima has a Facebook page. Um, you guys can tag us on Instagram. They also have an Instagram that you could tag them. So if you make one of these, I would love to see it. Um, it would be fun to see um, this created from someone else because I really enjoyed making this. Thank you, Carrie and Delena, for moder moderating my show. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Again, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for joining me here live with Prima. Again, my name is Bona Rivera Tran. And thanks for watching. Bye.